So a few videos back, I gave you guys some time-saving tips in survival Minecraft. And in that video, I asked if you'd like to see some time-saving tips for creative mode too. And with a commanding roar, you made it clear what you wanted. So here it is, a bunch of tips to help save time in Minecraft creative mode. Minecraft is defined by more than just survival and creative mode. Survival is more than just surviving and thriving, and creative mode is more than just digital Legos. Since Minecraft 1.3, the amount that you can do with commands alone is just astounding. This list is going to have all sorts of little tips and tricks to make your creative Minecraft experience easier, so let's go ahead and let's get started. The first one applies to anyone looking to use commands, from the beginner level all the way up to the highest expert levels, and that's tab completion. If you want to learn how to use commands, or make the process of typing commands easier, just press the tab key on your keyboard to see what the available options are for that command, or even see what the available commands are. If you're unsure about what a command does, you can just experiment by tab completing through all the options a command has. It's super quick to learn. If you want to summon a specific thing, just type out the first letter or two and then hit tab as well. The game will see what available options there are starting with the letters that you typed. And in recent versions of Minecraft, Mojang has been putting a big effort on making this feature function for absolutely every possible variation of every possible command. I mean, look at how quickly I am setting up a visible scoreboard display to show what my kill count is against mobs in game. It's just that easy. Alright, next up. In older versions of Minecraft, to do any kind of advanced building, you really needed plugins like World Edit or Voxel Sniper. And while those plugins still have their uses for advanced scenarios for sure, Minecraft has the ability now to do some pretty rudimentary level editing all by itself. Using the fill command, you can do some pretty clever things for basic world editing. While in spectator mode, you can just set up giant boxes to shape out the design that you want and then smooth it out by hand. You can also create giant hollow boxes by filling in a large square area with the outside material and then from the same point fill in a slightly smaller area with air to make it hollow. You can also replace certain blocks by running the fill command like this. After selecting your fill item, just type in the damage value or zero if you don't need one, then the word replace, and then the material that you want to replace. It's that easy. It'll just replace the second item on the list with the first one and nothing else. It's that easy. When doing commands that require a coordinate of some sort, use the tilde or the grave key on your keyboard. That's the one that's usually right above the tab key. If you replace the coordinates with a tilde key, whatever command you will run will run relative to the target's location, whether that's you or whatever mob that you select. So say you want to strike lightning on every single entity in the world. Instead of having to know where each and every one is, you can just run an execute command on the location of every single mob. See, it's easy to be evil in a world made of blocks after all. Alright, this next tip is the last big one, but after this I'll have a bunch of quick tips. This one is just for fun. If you want to summon stacked mobs in the game, run this command that I'm running on screen right now, and then replace cow with whatever you like. There's a lot more you can do with this command, but this is the basics. You can also stack a ton of cows by copying this section of the command and then pasting it over and over and over again. But for every time that you copy it and then paste it, you're going to need to add another set of closing brackets to the the end so I can summon this giant stack of cows and then kill them all at once <laughs> Alright, from here the tips get pretty simple. If there are any creative mode tips that you would like to share with the world, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. So alright, quick tips, go. You can control click items in the world to get an exact copy of that item or block, including chests with items in them, signs with information on them, and more. So you can press the F3 and Q key to get a display of every single debug feature in the game. Useful if you can't remember some of them. Being able to reload resource packs without reloading the game can be insanely useful. So instead of hitting enter and then just typing a slash, you can just hit the slash key on your keyboard to bring up chat with a slash already typed out. Super quick. If you want to use the coordinates of the block that you are looking at in a command, just look at the block and then press tab to fill in the coordinates of the block that you're looking at. 
It's really useful for fill commands. And as well, if you've typed in a ton of commands and you don't want to have to retype them, just use the up and down keys on your keyboard to cycle through previously typed commands after hitting enter. It's useful if you want to fill in that area, but you don't want to memorize the coordinates that you're looking at. So you just type in the half completed command, hit enter, go to your second location, press the up key after hitting enter, and bam, you will have your partially typed out command ready to go. If you load up a world and it doesn't allow for creative mode, just pause the game and then hit open to LAN, making sure to enable allowing cheats. And that just about wraps it up. If there are any tips you want to share, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to suggest any ideas to me or generally see my day-to-day -day ramblings, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a rating on it. It helps out the channel, the video, and myself quite a lot. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.